Hello and welcome back to another classic WoW video. So this is a hot topic and I've gotten this question many times and so far I've just responded to the actual comments and talked about it on my Discord but I think it's time to actually make a video on it. So basically people are asking me what add-ons I'm using so in this video I will explain my favourite add-ons to have in classic. They are mostly related to gold farming, some of them might not directly affect gold farming but they're still nice to have while farming. So without further ado, here are my top 10 add-ons to have in Classic WoW for a gold maker. Number 1, Farm Log. This is the absolute best add-on to have here if you ask me. First of all, it tracks the gold per hour from whatever farm you're doing, and you can have this set up to work in a few different ways. You can track gold per hour from raw vendor loot, or from auction house prices, which you can set either by having TSM, or by going to the auction house and typing slash FLAH in chat, to get farm log to scan the auction house for prices. Then you can use the farm log settings to use auction house price on only a specific rarity of items, so for example you can set it to count vendor price or vendor value on green, white and green items but count auction house price on blues and epics, and you can mix and match this exactly like you want. You can also track the drops by certain mobs if you're farming multiple farms or multiple mobs at once, for example if you're in Silithus and you're farming both Sandworm Meat and Twilight Texts, you can track the gold per hour from the both those farms separately at the same time, and see how many items which mob has dropped. It also comes with a very neat setup, a square that is very easy to navigate, and you can adjust it to whatever size you want to make it match whatever you want on your screen. You can also pause certain farming sessions in case you need to go vendor, or mail stuff, or just in case you need a small break. Simply right click the farm log icon at the minimap and the farming session will be paused. Right click it again to resume the session. Having this add-on has helped me so much because you'll know the exact value of the farm you're doing instead of guesstimating the value. An absolute no-brainer and a must-have for gold farming. Number 2, Baginon. This add-on is really simple and it's a really a personal preference of mine. This add-on simply turns all of your banks into one big bank, making it easier to access and you'll see all of your items in one big square instead of several small ones. Once again, this is a personal preference, so some of you might want to stick with the option of having several banks because you can easily navigate that as well by for example having one bank for materials, another for vendor items and so on. I just prefer having one big bag. Number 3, Neat Plates. This is an absolute must have especially for mages and warlocks, or any class using effects over time where you want to track the duration of your effects. This add-on could be replaced by clever use of weak auras, or using add-ons such as tell me when, however Neat Plates pretty much does all of the work for you and it's very easy to use and it really helps a lot. This add-on will put the logo of whatever effect is on the target above it visually and also track the duration of that effect, such as Blizzard for Major so you can track when the Blizzard effect has been renewed or is about to be removed. This is really useful for things such as Maradon farming or Sulgudub farming where you need a second or two to jump in between each Blizzard so you can jump just as the effect has been renewed. For Warlocks it tracks the duration of your damage over time spells as well which is really handy and it just looks really good as well. An additional benefit is that it gives a threat meter around the target as well which changes in color based on the threat and is very visually pleasing. Number 4, Informant slash Vendor Price. This is a 2 for 1 and you can choose whichever one you want. Personally I'm using both but I think they kind of overlap as they serve the same purpose, but Informant has a little bit more information than Vendor Price has. Basically, Vendor Price will tell you what the item sells for, and Informant will do the same, but you can also use Informant to see what professions the item is used in, which can be very handy while leveling to see which items are worth keeping. Number 5, We Chorus 2. This is a very good add-on that serves so many uses that it's not even worth explaining at all. It can be used for literally everything. My main use of Wii Chorus in Classic is to tell me the instance reset timer to see how many instances I've done and when I can enter the next one. It's very useful when you're boosting. I'm also using Wii Chorus to detect what layer I am on, but this is only relevant if you are playing on a server with layers. 
In addition to that, you can use your weak auras to track certain boss mechanics, add sounds telling you to get out of the fire, tell you what to do and when to do it, and you can customize weak auras to track certain item drops, and visually display it on the screen, which can be useful when you're farming, for example, Sulgurub, and want a visual tracker of how many bijus or coins you've gotten so far. Basically, this is an add-on that will visually track whatever you want it to track, as long as you know how to set it up. Another good thing about this add-on is that you can send your weak auras to other people, so if you see someone that has a nice weak aura tracker that you want to copy, they can send you a link which you can then use to import that weak aura, which is really handy and it makes it very easy to share your weak aura with others. This is how I got my instance tracker for example, it was made by someone else and then shared on Reddit, where I just imported it. Number 6, Trade Skill Master slash TSM. This is arguably the most important auction house add-on you can have. You can use this to post multiple auctions at once. For example, you can post 400 auctions of single items in one click, which saves a ton of time. You can also cancel all of your auctions in one click, which again saves time. You can also use this add-on to scan the auction house for items below a certain price, which you can adjust yourself, to either scan the auction house for dirt cheap items, or certain items you're interested in, and you can adjust the gold range of your scan as well to either be at a certain amount of gold, or a certain percentage of the market value. Basically, it's a really handy add-on to have for the auction house, it will save you tons of time, however, it is pretty advanced and takes some time to get used to. And you might have to watch some TSM specific guides to fully understand how it works. Alternative add-ons to this is Auctioneer and Market Watcher, which are easier to understand, but because they aren't as advanced, they are not as good as TSM. Basically, they are the simplified versions of TSM, with less options available. Number 7, Speedy Auto Loot. This is a very simple add-on that requires no explanation really, because the name kind of explains what it does. You loot things faster. Okay, a short explanation. The loot window is shortened or pretty much non-existent, so you are able to loot faster. Combine this with something like binding your loot key to the scroll wheel, and you can loot super fast. Number 8, Gathermate 2 is super useful if you have a profession like herbalism or mining, or both. Basically, the way this add-on works is it tracks whenever you loot something, and displays it on your map and minimap. For example, if you pick up a thorium vein, it will display that location as a thorium vein location, and if you pick up a dream foil, it will display that location as a dream foil location. When you get in range of the location on the minimap, the dream foil or a thorium picture will disappear, so you can see the yellow dot there if it's there. This way, you can effectively run in between whatever it is you're looking for, and you can also use this to figure out where to level your professions based on your roots on your main. For example, I leveled Herbalism on my Hunter, then again on my Mage, and because I had farmed some on my Hunter, I had tons of Herbalism locations already saved through Gathermate to use it to level up faster on my Mage. Number 9, Auctioneer slash Enchantrix. This is a 2 for 1, and it's basically Enchantrix. However, Enchantrix is also built into the standard version of Auctioneer. Actually, I think you need Auctioneer to get Enchantrix. Like, Enchantrix is built into Auctioneer, okay? Basically, download Auctioneer and get Enchantrix built into it. So, what is Enchantrix? Enchantrix will tell you what an item will disenchant into with percentage values. This is great for farming dungeons to see when to disenchant the item and when to vendor it. And it can be nice to do some auction house snipes to buy items that are on the auction house for less than their disenchant value. Number 10, Bag Brother. This lets you see the bags of all of your characters while being on only one. This is very handy for someone like me that likes spreading out my gold and spreading out my investments. And for example, I have some elemental water on my warrior, some on my druid, and some on my bank character, because I usually fill up one character and then start filling up the next. And I haven't taken the time to sort through my banks and banks yet, but with this add-on I can still keep track of what I have and where I have it. Basically, it's a convenience add-on, and I love it. So there it is, my top 10 add-ons to have in Classic WoW, especially for gold farming and gold making. Now, there is one add-on here that is missing, and I think some of you might react to this, so I'm just gonna give it an honorable mention here. D-Junk or Easy Junk. 
basically an add-on or add-ons that handle all of your junk items to easily destroy them. This can be very handy to have while gold farming so you don't have to go vendor for pure silver. However, I choose not to use this simply because I don't trust the add-ons and because I want that extra silver from vendoring as well, plus the time it saves won't be that useful in most farms in my opinion, which is why I don't use it and why it's not on this list. That being said, I do hope some of you find this useful, and at least now you know which add-ons I have, which add-ons I use, and why I'm using them. That's it for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.